To balance this equation, CaCO3 plus HCl yields CaCl2 plus CO2 plus H2O. Let's add up the atoms on each side of the equation. We have one calcium, we have one carbon, we have three oxygen, only one hydrogen, and then one chlorine. Over on the products, we have the one calcium, the one carbon, then oxygens, be careful, we have two here plus this one right here. So we have three of those. Hydrogens, we have just the two, and then chlorines, we have two of those. One thing, do be careful, you have the Cl here and this carbon here. Cl is chlorine, it's a single element, and then carbon is a different element. Okay, so everything looks good up to the hydrogens and the chlorines. We have one hydrogen here, one chlorine here, two hydrogens and two. That's pretty simple to solve. If we just put a coefficient of two in front of the HCl, now we have the one times the two, that gives us two hydrogens, and then the one chlorine times that coefficient of two, that gives us two chlorines. And now we have everything equal on both sides of the equation, and it's balanced. That is the balanced equation for calcium carbonate plus hydrochloric acid yields calcium chloride plus carbon dioxide plus water. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.